am Dr. Suvarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Ziva Fertility is conducting a free camp for patients suffering from infertility. We are conducting this camp in the month of May on every Saturday at Kompalli, Sanatnagar, Banjara Hills and Manikonda. Included in this camp are free registration, consultation, counseling and semen analysis. Subsequent treatment options will also be uh, suggested to you and you can avail this opportunity. I am Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What are the instructions you must follow before IVF, during IVF and post IVF? Let's try to understand these in our today's topic. Before IVF, you will be asked to get a few blood tests done. These determine how your ovaries are behaving, how your periods that have gone by have gone and uh, how you are getting ready for the next period. So that basically is very critical for your fertility specialist to decide on the dosage of your stimulation for the ovaries that have the follicles. The follicles have eggs and those are what respond to the stimulation injections that are administered. Now about these injections. These injections are approximately given for 8 to 10 days and have to be given around the same time. An hour here or an hour there does not matter, but these injections have to be taken regularly and every day as your doctor instructs. These medications have to be kept in 2 to 8 degrees temperature. Therefore, if you wish to take the drugs to your house, please make sure that you have continual electricity supply. If not, please go to a good pharmacy or a good fertility hospital where these injections can be given by trained um, nurses or doctors. So those are the most important injections that are administered for the procedure. Now it's very critical that when these injections are being given, you undergo ultrasonography also to assess and monitor how your follicles are growing. Your doctor may call you two to three times during these 10 days to see if the dosage is enough. Do they need to increase it? Do they need to decrease it? Do they need to go ahead with planning the IVF? Critical information which is drawn from these ultrasonography piece. So please do not miss your ultrasonography. Now the most important part of the stimulation protocol is an injection which is also called as trigger. It's nothing but HCG injection, human chorionic chorionotrophin. 36 hours later, the eggs are collected by a procedure of oocyte retrieval in the operation theater. It's very critical that you take this drug exactly at the same time your doctor has recommended. If you were to miss the time, suppose they asked you to take at 10 and you took at 12, please tell your doctor because it's very critical that they collect your eggs around 35 to 36 hours after this injection has been given otherwise it leads to immature or post mature eggs and the entire protocol the entire effort of 10 days could be washed out so it's very critical that you take this injection at the right time or inform your doctor if you've missed that particular time now coming on to the egg retrieval day that day your anesthetist who is also in the team will recommend that you do not eat or drink about 8 to 12 hours before the procedure because you will be given anesthesia so that we can retrieve your eggs. Please follow those instructions. There are complications that could happen if you were to even drink too much water or have juices or tea or coffee without informing your anesthetist. It is a very critical procedure even though it is a very short procedure in the operation theatre but your anesthetist uh, will need to know exactly what you have done. So please do not eat or drink before the procedure. Uh, for however duration your doctor has told you. If you were to be taking Thyronorm or any other important drug, please take with a sip of uh, water but you must inform your anesthetist. After the procedure, you will be asked to take rest in the recovery room for about 2-3 to three hours. You recover from the anesthesia and you walk back home. Usually complications do not occur these days because conditions such as ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome also can be managed very well. Around 3-4 to four days later, if you are um, embryos are to be transferred back into your uterus, you will be called back to the uh, center. Otherwise, your embryos will be frozen and you will be asked to take certain medications to calm down your ovaries so that you can have uh, your periods again and your embryo transfer, which will be a frozen embryo transfer, can be planned accordingly. These are very important instructions after your uh, egg retrieval. So that will determine whether you are going to have the fresh embryo transfer or frozen embryo transfer because the medications then vary. If you are having a frozen, then progesterone will be added to your 
medication list if you want to understand more about ivf if you want to understand the procedures the medications the time duration and the financial constraint it will have on your purses please feel free to contact ziva fertility centers thank you we strive very hard to make these informative videos for you please encourage us by subscribing and liking our videos thank you